guys welcome back to vlogmas day 16. i apologize for the lighting but it's super dark outside and i'm currently at the postal service post office whatever you want to call it and you guys saw a couple clips of me going inside and me <laughs> the light just want to go and me going to my peel box i was in line because i did have to ship some more mercari orders so yeah and it's actually pretty cold here <laughs> i think it's in the 50s so i think it's in the 50s or 60s but it's really nice it's very rare we get cold weather down here and i just love it so now that i did that i'm gonna head on home so i can change get out of these clothes and just relax so i will see you at my house
Hey guys, so today's um, 17 that this part of the video is at. Um, I totally forgot to basically continue, let alone close out <laughs> day 16. So it's just a continuance. I totally like spaced out yesterday <laughs> after I got home. So yeah, so it's just going to be two days in a row for today. Um, as you guys saw from previous clips, I went to the library and I spent a couple hours there. It was quite enjoyable just having like a quiet space. I was at my own desk. I was setting up my goals for next year, which I gave you guys a little bit of a glimpse, um, which is good. I also have my 2023 savings goals, which is different from my regular goals. Um, I have like a list of stuff I want to save for for next year, which obviously, you know, with me being a low income budgeter, I'm probably not going to get to all of them. But if I could get to a couple of them, that would be super great, which I will bring to you in my goals video. I don't know if I'll separate them or put them all together, but I will definitely show you guys. Um, I was also writing down all my bills for next year because January is around the corner. So yeah. Um, so that's what I did. I came home and then I just ate something because I was starving. I never eat breakfast. That's the sad part. And then I came home around like three o'clock after the library because um, I had to also go to the library because I ordered some filters and I didn't realize that they were the wrong size. Um, and obviously I had to return them. Thankfully I got it from Amazon, but I have to return them. So I went there to the library to also print it out because obviously there's no ink and it's my mom's printer, if you guys are wondering, that I use. I did, I think my mom did get me a printer for this year. Because honestly, if I'm going to print, I usually do it at work or on my mom's printer. So that's, that's the reason I didn't have a printer for this year or last year or even before that. But um, yeah, so my mom's getting me a printer for Christmas. I already know that. I put it on my list. It's really cheap, the printer. I just... Honestly, for my Christmas, my mom always asked me what I want. And I just put that on there because I thought it was a practical gift. I'm sure I would use it, especially with my Mercari. And, you know, I honestly couldn't think of anything. Because when you're an adult, especially when you have your own money, you buy what you want. I mean, if it's not too expensive, obviously. So, yeah. So I just put that on there. I know she got it because I was there. She, she doesn't hide or anything. She does have a couple things she hid from me. But most of the gifts I know what I'm getting. Which is fine. Um, I had hoped... My mom's still getting used to my stepfather's new pay. Job pay. Because she's been used to him getting paid weekly. For the last decade or so. And now he's being paid bi-weekly at his new job. So... It's a, it's a, it's a turning point and an adjustment, but she'll get used to it. So, yeah. So, that's basically, she's getting used to that. I mean, he gets paid the same day I get paid, which probably makes things a whole lot better, but also a little bit more complicated because my mom and I have this, like, thing where when I get paid, I pay for the groceries and the week after, because my stepfather did get paid weekly, the week after he, the week, when I'm not paid, he, his pay goes towards paying for the groceries that week. So, and so on and so forth. Now I have to get used to the bi-weekly pay for him too. So now I'm probably just going to have to grab, ask for the money and hold on to it for next week or grab as much food as I can the week of. But yeah, everybody has like their high beams on tonight. I don't get it. It's like we can't see you, right? Wow. 
Okay, so I just left five below because I had to get out of the house. It was driving me nuts. Um, after I rested for a little bit. And I got a couple of things here. I got some, I got, my job is having like a white elephant thing. So me, I'm like a Christmas how do I say it? I either give you food or I'm practical about things. Unless you actually give me a list. But white, ele white elephant, I've never done white elephant before. So I wasn't sure exactly what you're supposed to give. Um, I'm, I've seen a couple of YouTubers do white elephants of their versions. So I just, I mean, I just went with what I thought would be good. And I went to Five Below. Because they usually have good stuff um usually but especially around christmas time so i i got what i thought would be a good gift if anyone chose it so so the first thing i got was this condiment dipper i got it cut two years ago for my stepfather because he loves eating fast food you can put it in your vent and you can turn it any way you want i thought this was a really cool thing so that's what i got because let's be honest we love fast food <laughs> in my family and I know my coworkers like fast food too so I figured that's more of a safe bet and then I also found this I've never seen this before it's a french fry holder <laughs> so you can put your french fries so you don't have to worry about the bag like falling or anything which is really cute and then I got something a little bit different I got this 10 watt wireless charger with light up feature not bad for 10 bucks and it has multicolors on it. I thought it was really cute. I got that and then I got just a simple bag to go with it. I did check and put all this stuff in there before I got this because I ugh, I would hate to have to return, come back and return it. It was a dollar and it says ho, ho, ho. So that's what I got for my white elephant this year. I hope whoever gets it likes it. I'll be honest, most of the people in my job are women. I think there's only one guy in my branch. Because you guys know I work in the finance field. So I tried to be as neutral as I could. As much as I could. Then I got my own stuff. Because, you know, I can't go to Five Below and not buy something. I got this cute little cat toy. My cat loves it. It's it's really cute. It's like a little gnome. I was I thought it had a bell, but it doesn't. But it's alright. That was like three bucks. And then I got these cute candies. I like collecting, as you guys can see. And they have these coins to collect. So, yeah. And I saw this. It's a cute little cat squishy. Um, kawaii kitty squish. Squish me. And I think it's really good. I could put it on my desk. Whenever I'm feeling stressed, I can just squish it and just... I don't know how long it's going to last, but <laughs> who knows. And I got some more candy. I'm not going to... Obviously, I'm not a huge chocolate person. So, I eat chocolate very rarely. So, this is just for like a stock. For my stockpile. When I'm feeling the need to eat... To have chocolate, I have it there. I don't have to go out and do it. Like I said, I'm not a big chocolate person, but the size of these candies are relatively small enough that I won't be like, yuck. <laughs> so I got these cute Harry Potter chocolate frogs. It's like living your own childhood. And they actually come with the wizarding card. So I've got like two of them already. And then I got a duplicate one. I got one of those and then I got, <laughs> you guys know like Harry Potter. So I found these cute little um, Funko miniatures. This is the Dementor. I like the dark arts part. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the nicer you, the, the, I always think of the dark side as more misunderstood in Harry Potter. So like, like Severus Snape, if you have not seen Harry Potter and it's been out for over 20 years, I, if, the, if it's spoiling for you, that's just. I mean, it's been out for tw over 20 years, so. Um, I also got the Severus Snape. Like, Severus Snape, I don't know about anyone else, but I thought he was just, like, the meanest character. 
like not as mean as Baltimore obviously but I always thought he had like this vendetta against Harry Potter and in reality he doesn't he actually was there t as a double agent to protect Harry because of his love for Lily and that just that just make made um Severus one of my favorite characters like you can't judge a book by its cover is basically in my mind because I don't know if that's what the author thought in my mind that is kind of the moral of the story during those scenes especially his death scene that you can't judge someone by the way they look especially if they act like if they act mean or you know if they're tough on you it's because they have like the biggest heart so in my mind <laughs> my mind's probably crazy because but like that's how I I think of Severus name but yeah I had to get those those were the last two in my five below and they did have a Luna Love Good they also had a Ron Weasley and a Hermione Granger with the sorting hat but um it was gonna be too much if I got all of them plus you know I like Hermione and Ron but I was always going to choose the Dementor and Severus Snape, so that's just how it is. I didn't want to spend 50 bucks <laughs> on that many Funkos. So, um, I'm going to actually head to McDonald's because I'm starving. And then I'm going to head home. And I have not opened my Advent box in a while, which is bad on me. Plus, I haven't gotten any money to put it in, put in it. But... You know what, I'll just wait until I get paid this week and then save a little bit on the side for the remainder of the 25 days. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, I'll see you at home. Or actually, I'll see you at McDonald's, maybe? I don't know. It'll be a surprise for both of us. So I guess we, I showed you my tree. It's finally up. I've had it actually up for a week now. I just keep forgetting to show you guys. But yeah, I've had it up for a week. It's really cute. It is Grinch theme. I love the Grinch. Next to the Christmas Carol, the Grinch is my favorite Christmas movie. And yeah, I'm so excited. Um, if I could find more Grinch stuff, I would so put, like get more Grinch things for my room or just in general but you know there's only so much you can put on a fake tree <laughs> so yeah uh if I can find more next year because I think Grinch is starting to become really popular during Christmas I mean not that it's not popular now but I mean like more merchandise popular then I will so get it um yeah I even saw some Grinch themed hot cocoa, which I hope one year they can actually make hot cocoa that turns green, like color flavored green, hot, like cocoa bombs for Grinch would be great. I know they have those like um, hot cocoa bombs that are shaped like Santa Claus. I hope they can come out with one that's shaped like the Grinch and when it melts the co it's like chocolate on the outside, but when it melts, it becomes like green, like color, food color green. So yeah, just some ideas. Um, so I'm going to do the advent calendar. I've been behind all week. So today's the 16th. I haven't done the third. I stopped on the 12th. So I have to open them and I will be filling them as soon as I get paid this week. So let's look at the 13th. 13. 13 is seven that's a doable one very doable and not too bad thankfully i got all the 20s out of the way well most of the 20s we're gonna do the 14th which is 13 another relatively good one then the 15 which is oh nine looks backwards on camera but it's a nine and then 
the 16th. Can't believe we're a week away. 16th is, ooh, that's a big one. 16th is 23. And for today, the 17th, doesn't want to open. Gosh, I don't want to break this. Okay, got it. For today, we have ooh, three. Yay! Wait. Wasn't this three? No, that was seven. So, we have seven, 23, three, nine, and... I don't remember what the other one is. But I have them all out. So I know which ones I have to do. Look at that. After tomorrow, we only have one left. One full week left. Yeah. Eee. So excited. But so, like, nervous. And also really excited that we're so close to the new year. We can start the year off on a good note this year. Which... Hopefully it turns a lot, a lot better than it started. <sighs> Wish me luck. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Say hi to Oreo. He was missing for a couple hours this afternoon. Decided to go on his own adventure. Um, if you guys didn't like it, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to join my YouTube, subs my YouTube family, please subscribe. I would love it. We are getting extra close to 600. I'm so excited. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.